It's an interesting story, really, because my daughter Willow was born with a, a rare condition. She has a birthmark in her airway, which we discovered when she was a week old. She always had trouble sleeping. So I had a lot of sleepless nights, and I wanted to do something with my time. It started out with our, our daughter and a, on a road trip we had. She was having a lot of dreams. Tina really wanted to have a conversation with her, and one of the things that was difficult is that they didn't want to share. One of the things that came up with is the dream of Dillo, and it was a way to have conversations, rich conversations between us. And I was inspired to write this story about this character who goes around and helps children have good dreams, gets rid of the scary nightmares, and inspires them to follow their own dreams, really. I needed a creative outlet to turn a negative situation into something beautiful, and I hope that I accomplished that with my story. When she first started looking at the Dillo, we were sitting at a table and she sketched out the armadillo. It was really, uh, at the time, it was an armadillo that was the character, and it was really rough and basic. Over the last 12 months, she's gone through a number of iterations and really it's come about and refined it. Well, I don't want to give away the ending because there's a wonderful twist at the end. Basically, the dreamadillo, he's a regular armadillo that dreams that he grows wings, he grows dream wings, he flies around and he visits children in the evening and, and blows them dream bubbles. So basically he's, he's this stuffed animal guy, he's furry, he's purple, he's got green wings. He's able to trap bad nightmares away with his dream gadget. So he's kind of a, he's, he wants to be a superhero that, that helps children with their bad dreams. He encourages kids to really believe in themselves and at the end they're, they're blowing their own dream bubbles, which I think is spectacular. They're able to conquer their own fears of nightmares. She is very passionate about doing her art and she's really dedicated at it. So sometimes it really consumes her. She really believes in dreams and kids' dreams and interpreting the kids' dreams and helping parents to have those conversations. When you're all tucked in bed, cuddled up nice and tight, and it's just about time to turn off your light, it's really a tale of inspiration for everyone, like to follow their dreams, to believe in yourself, to just have this passion for life. If you believe in it and you, you, you know, work hard enough, then good things can happen. As a mother, it's really difficult. So the times when she, what she would really do is she'd start around 10.30 at night, and I would go to bed and I'd wake up and hear the lights on and some little bit of noise going on upstairs come up and at 2.30 in the morning she's laboring away drawing this. She says, look, she's so much energy. She comes and says, and I'm half asleep. And she'd say, come take a look at this and take a look and see what, it is, what, what I've got going here. Look where I've gone with this storyline. What I really want to do is publish my book. I want to I want to have hard copies of the book printed. I want to make sure my, my colors come across vibrantly. I think, you know, I put a lot of love into the work. I want that to, to come through in the pictures and to have you fall in love with the scene and, and be transported into Dreamadillo's world. I want to make the, the, the plush Dreamadillo dolls. The kids love to hold the Dreamadillo. He has a little pocket you can tuck a dream wish into. It's a great way to kind of see what, where your children are, you know, what they're concerned about, what they're, what they're aspiring for, what their hopes are. I've been working on this project for exactly a year now. I started last Thanksgiving break and the kids have fallen in love with them. My, my daughter has helped me with the illustrations of the book and my son too. They've drawn their little pictures and I've included them in there. I know they don't believe in him as a real being but he's really, he's come to life for me and I, I, I want to share him now with the world. I'm ready. I hope that he touches people's hearts because uh, he's, he's become almost real to me.